Now, do we remember the difference between balanced and unbalanced lines? Can someone tell me that? The unbalanced line has a hot signal and ground. That's it. So the signal is on the tip and ground is the sleeve. What do we have? We have a hot signal going down a wire. That's an antenna. The longer wire you have, the better antenna you've got. You've heard in your guitar amp, you've heard radio stations, that you're picking up RF radio frequencies on your guitar cord, which is an antenna, because it is unbalanced. Now, a balanced line has three contact points. as a positive, a negative, and a ground. It breaks up the signal into positive and negative. Your radio frequency is now on both of those wires. It got picked up. It's, they're both antennas. But when they come down and join together to make the signal, they're 180 degrees out of phase. Therefore, it's going to cancel the signal that's common on both wires. You don't hear the radio station. It's gone. It got canceled when you combine the positive and negative. That's the value of your balanced lines. You could have 100-foot microphone cables, and it wouldn't be a problem because they're balanced lines. You could have a 100-foot guitar cable. You could do the dance on top of the lights, but they've got to be balanced. If we had a balanced line to come to the left speaker, coming all the way from wherever through your system, going to that left speaker would be positive, negative, and ground with the left signal going to that speaker. So I'm not talking about left and right in the ear. Now I'm talking about just the, just the, the mono signal, just the left signal. If it was balanced, it would have a positive wire, a negative wire, and a ground wire. So now then, if I had to plug this balanced line into a quarter inch plug, which you see on your mixing consoles, they say, you can wire this balanced. So all your 24 line inputs on the back of the mixing console, you want to wire balanced. Therefore, you would want this kind of plug that you're calling a stereo plug, and it is a stereo plug. But today we're going to use it to be a balanced line plug because it's got the tip, positive, ring, negative, and sleeve ground. So now we're going to use this to wire all our line inputs into the console to the patch bay, which we're going to wire balanced because it's got tip, ring, and sleeve, TRS. Now, on the unbalanced line, positive and negative is combined into being the hot signal, meaning the signal and ground. And what we have is we have a quarter inch mono, right? Otherwise known as unbalanced, quarter inch balanced or stereo plug, either one, all right? So if I want to use it, now I'm going to solder it into the other, the end of my headphone, well then it becomes the left, right, and ground. But if I'm going to put this plug in the console to line input to the patch bay, well then it's going to be positive, negative, and ground. On the uh, unbalanced one, you'll see there's a center point, which is obviously goes down to the tip. And then there's this one here on the side, which obviously is touching all of this other metal that is insulated from the tip by this insulated material, this black thing. And then on this one, you can see that there is that center point again. And then there is obviously the ground, which touches the sleeve. So being that there is only one more contact left, we could assume that that goes to the ring. So that's how you figure it. You know, you'll look and you'll be able to figure it out. You can always count on the red being positive. Sometimes it'll be red and white. Sometimes it'll be red in another color. Green is usually ground. In the wires that I'm talking about, 8452, what it is is it's a bare wire that is wrapped in a foil around the two wires that are inside the rubber sleeves. There's a foil that wraps around it, and then there's a bare wire through that. That foil is the shield that shields it from outside interference as best as it can, but it also, that bare wire now is running along the shield and it is ground.